Hello everyone and welcome to 2023. I am here right now with one of our first herps of the year, a nice spotted salamander I just found. And I'm actually gonna start off the year by showing you guys a piece of cool equipment I just got, this thing right here. And this is not gonna be a sponsorship, it's more of just a, a tech review of something that I got and I think it's pretty cool. This is a shift cam 75 millimeter long range macro lens attachment for iPhone and it's specifically made for video. So I'm gonna put this bad boy on and we'll see what it can do with this nice spotted salamander right here. Look at that. I think this thing works pretty well. My only complaint about it so far is that it's a little bit difficult to screw on and screw off quickly. Check this out. He is missing his back leg. See over here, we got a leg. And over here, there is no leg. I'm not sure I've ever seen that before, but pretty interesting. It's a fantastic looking animal, and I'm sure we'll be seeing many more over the next couple weeks. Once New Year's rolls around, it's kind of like a switch flips, and the, uh, the salamanders and amphibians really start to ramp up their breeding activity, so. There's going to be a lot of amphibian activity over the next couple of weeks, and hopefully some snake activity too. Look at this guy walking with his three legs. Alright, we're going to let this guy crawl back under his cross tie here, and uh, continue with the day. So yeah, this thing's pretty cool. It comes with a magnetic lens cover. It's pretty easy to pop on and pop back off. Make sure I keep it clean while I'm out herping. I'm hopeful that we'll be able to get some pretty cool shots with this thing this year. So I'm looking forward to trying it out more with different stuff. Anyways, I had plans to travel today, but I ended up waking up feeling really, really not that great. Is that a box turtle shell over there? So I decided to mostly stick close to home today and then tomorrow we will go south a bit to warmer pastures and hope that we can find our first snake of the year. This is in fact a box turtle shell. I did look around quite a bit for snakes today, but it just hasn't been very productive. Saw a couple of anoles out basking, but other than that, it's been pretty slow on the reptiles and even pretty slow on the salamanders too, really. So yeah, I think I'm gonna poke around some wetlands to try to find a couple more salamanders to test out our new lens on. And then tomorrow we will go try to find our first snake of the year. It'd be awesome to stumble across one today, but I've been looking pretty hard for most of the day and I have not seen much of anything. So I'm gonna shift my focus to salamanders, I think. I don't really have any crazy specific goals in mind yet for the year. Uh, if you guys have any ideas, definitely comment them down below. But one thing I want to try to do is keep track of the species that we see this year and keep a species list. And I also want to do more writing because I do truly enjoy writing and I think it would accompany the video format pretty well if I did sort of a blog to go with the vlog. And I've also considered doing that in the format of the Field Herp Forum and just posting on there. All right, here's our next species of the year, a nice little marbled salamander. Looks like this guy's got a pretty weird front foot, so I'm gonna put that lens on and give you guys a closer look at it. Look at that, you can count this thing's toes. Looks like he's only got three of them on the front there. He might have an extra one on the back. But yeah, this lens is super cool. And that is our, I think, third species for the year. All right, our next herp of the year is definitely something that is done right by this macro lens because we never get to see these guys up this close. This is a southern redback salamander. I think these guys truly are some of the prettiest salamanders we have, but they're just so small that with my previous setup, it was almost impossible to get footage that does them any justice as to just how pretty they can be. And hopefully now that you can see this guy up close, you see what I mean. So very pretty. We'll just let this guy go back under his log. All right, little dude. Well, it was a decent run today, even though we didn't find any snakes, we got our first couple of species of the year. And it's just always nice when New Year's Day is warm, you know, rather than typical January weather, which I'm sure we'll get to experience here soon. 
but the next couple of days are going to be pretty warm similar to today so tomorrow we're definitely going to give it another effort hopefully i'll feel better i've definitely been under the weather for the last couple of days and today is definitely the worst i'm gonna go take it easy for the rest of the day and we'll get up early tomorrow and hit it hard in search of our first snake of 2023 Good morning everybody and welcome to Safe Driving Conditions Simulator Episode 2. It is super foggy out here and it's supposed to be fantastic weather today. It's going to be warm and overcast for most of the day, so I'm going to get out in the field. The big target is going to be an Eastern Diamondback. I have been really, really failing to find a Diamondback in the area that I spend the most time looking for them. And it's starting to really annoy me, so we're going to hit it really hard today and hopefully we'll get lucky. It is way foggier down here than I was expecting it to be. It's 10 a.m. It's supposed to get up to like 73 degrees today, but it's still in the 50s and foggy right now, so we'll see what we can do with it. Are you serious right now? I got my first tick of the year before my first snake of the year? That's embarrassing. Well, it's 11.40 in the morning, so almost noon, and it's definitely no longer cool out here. It's starting to get a little bit muggy and warm. But it is still very, very cloudy, so pretty optimal snake hunting conditions in my opinion. But this is a very tough place, and we're looking for snakes that don't like to be found. Well, it took all day long, but I finally got my first snake of the year. Check this out. I just rolled this guy under a log. A little corn snake. Very nice. He's beautiful too. Look at that. Come here, little dude. Let's get a look at you. <laughs> Look at that, beautiful. I'm pretty sure this is the first time I have ever had a corn as my first snake of the year. We usually do pretty well at finding something decently cool as our first snake. We've been really lucky and uh, this year is no exception. I think last year we got a racer, which was definitely one of the least exciting first snakes of the year I've had. But I mean, I'm, I'm just happy to see a snake. We've been out here basically two days straight in great weather getting skunked. And then finally, we broke the ice with that guy. Look at that little beauty. I was almost in disbelief when I saw him under that log because one, I don't think I've ever flipped a corn snake under a log before. And two, it's just been so slow. I had pretty much given up. I was about to head back to the car and call it a bust, but nope. Definitely isn't the diamond back we were hoping for, but I would say that's a pretty solid start to 2023. Good stuff. I'm gonna get some photos real quick and we'll put them back under his log and we might have time for another snake today. What a great way to start the new year. Beautiful little baby corn. This guy's actually just kind of odd looking too. It seems like a lot of the corns in this area are. The one we found at the end of last year was not too far from here at all. But as you can see, this area has been burned over the last couple weeks at some point. A lot of these young long leaves are toasted. The habitat and the animals will benefit greatly in the long run. And uh, as you can see, this guy isn't terribly phased by it. I'm assuming he either came out of that stump hole or that stump hole and just crawled up under here because there's not really much shelter because of the burn, which is part of what makes control burn so cool is it kind of concentrates the snakes a little bit and makes them easier to find. So I think we'll poke around this area a little bit more to end the day and we'll see what we can turn up. back to where I found him. That's right exactly under the log where he was coiled up. Very nice. All right, well, I've been walking around for quite a bit after the corn snake and still have not seen anything else. This habitat is beautiful for sure. And it feels great out here, but it's still January at the end of the day. So but I'm just walking around checking stump holes. There's one right there. My phone won't focus on. I'm hoping to see someone else out basking, but like I said, it's not going very well. But at the end of the day, I'm just happy we got our corn snake. I am a little bit dirty. This is actually the first lizard I've seen all day, believe it or not. It's been very weird and slow other than that one corn snake. 
I mean, I get skunked out here all the time, but I at least expect to see fence lizards and uh, anoles, and I have seen... Oh no, I saw a brown skink that got away, so this is actually our second lizard. Look at this purple grass. We've got normal grass. I don't know what species this is. I know nothing about grasses. But then we got purple grass. It's pretty cool looking. All right, everyone. Well, the sun is starting to get low in the sky, but it has been a pretty beautiful start to 2023. A little bit low on the snakes, but the year can't always start off with an immediate bang, so I'm not too disappointed with how we did. I'm just glad we finally did get our first snake of the year after essentially two complete days of getting skunked. I believe with the addition of corn snake, gopher tortoise, and ground skink today, we are up to seven species total for the year, although I didn't get to show all of them. The species list is cranking along, and I'm fairly happy with how the year has started. So with that being said, I think I'm going to wrap up the first episode here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time, where hopefully there will be a little bit more snake action, but it's probably going to be an amphibian video if I had to guess, because we have a lot of rain coming in tomorrow. It's going to be too wet to snake hunt, so I'm probably going to do salamanders, so... I will see you guys then.